Hey you guys, welcome to the second video of my October Daily 2016 Rascog Prep Series. So I'm going to be creating some cute little wands today and I'm super excited because I just love the wands lately. Everyone's doing the wands and I mean they're just so adorable. So again, I decided to go ahead and use the scallop medallion or the medallion and I have the cut I'll link it in the description box below in case you guys are interested I think I did tweak mine a little bit but it's the same cut I that I used on my cameo so um, I'm using pastel um, cardstock from recollections and lavender pink and a light blue and I'm going to be using little ephemera or they're actually from the sticker sheet um, from Serena B's pastel, um, spooky pastel collection. Went ahead and made them bigger using Jill's tutorial. She's Crickflicks on YouTube, and I'll go ahead and link the same tutorial that I watched in the description box. And I basically just enlarged the images myself because I knew I wanted to um, do these kinds of projects with them, and I wanted them just a little bigger. But they are not this big. I I just made them this big. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of cute images. You guys should definitely check out this collection. And also, I think Serena B has the um, add-on kits for both collections, the um, Spooky Pastel and the October Nights collections. So she has those for pre-order, I believe. So definitely go and check that out. I'll leave the link to her shop in the description box so you guys can go and take a peek. Um, yeah, and basically I have six little medallion um, pieces out but I only ended up doing four because six is a lot and I don't think you guys want to sit here <laughs> and watch me do six so I only did four and I'm really happy with how they came out so I'm just making one medallion so you guys can see and then as you can see that I just made the rest on my own um, so you guys didn't have to sit there and watch me do the entire thing over and over. So I have a tutorial on these glittered crepe paper embellishments, and I'll link that in the description box below. They're super fun to make and really easy, and again, I'm just showing you how I'm making the first one, and I'm kind of just chopped everything up so it's not, you know, it doesn't take too long. Um, but yeah, these are really fun to make, and instead of using the Heidi Swap Chunky Glitter, I used, I believe it's called Sugar Coating by Doodlebug. Um, and I got that at Hobby Lobby and it's really pretty glitter. So I'm really curious to know what everyone is going to be doing for October Daily. So let me know in the comments down below what your plans are, what collection you're using, what album you're using. Um, if you're doing videos, let me know. I would love to check them out. And you guys, I'm super excited. I have so much planned for my channel. I don't even know how I'm going to do it all, but I'm going to do it. I actually sat down. It took me two hours. I mean, do is that how long people take to plan? I sat for two hours and just, you know, wrote everything out in my planner um, of what I'm going to do, what days I'm going to do it. I had everything planned out and, oh my gosh, you guys, it's going to be so much fun. I can't wait. So as I told you guys before, I am doing this series basically just to decorate my cart for October Daily and I'm using a very non-traditional, as you can see, um, collection. So I basically have to make any decorations or, you know, embellishments and things like that myself, um, which is actually kind of fun. You know, if you can't really go to the store and find, you know, purple pumpkins and pink skulls and, you know, so you kind of have to make everything on your own, which I kind of like. So that's why I'm doing this series so you guys can see that it's possible and it's fun to just make your own embellishments, you know, and things like that. So it's, it's really easy to. So I am just so excited to share my video with you guys when I have my cart all put together. Another thing that I want to mention that I don't think I have before is that I'm doing a video a day this week. So it's going to be all leading up to October 1st, and that's um, when I will start doing October Daily. I believe every Friday I will film, and then Saturday I will post. So that's my schedule. That's what I'm going to be doing, so hopefully I can stick to that. Um, but yeah, this whole week I'm going to be doing a video a day. Um, the first three videos will be my October Daily um, RASCOG prep videos and then my actual October daily you know prep series that I did last year 
um, that'll, that'll be the next three videos, and then it'll be October 1st, and I can't even believe it's here, you guys. Um, I feel like, I feel like I've been celebrating Halloween for so long now, just because I started very early this year, but I couldn't help it, you guys. I mean, October is just too short, you know? It's, you know, by the time you put up your decorations October 1st, I mean, you have to take them down. So the fact that I started super early this year, I'm just really, you know, happy that I got to celebrate it this long. Um, so, yeah. So here I am. I like to, I don't know if everyone does this when they make their wands, but I like to smash the very top. Um, I don't know why, it probably does nothing, but I smash the very top and then I'm adding hot glue to the um, the part that I just smashed and I'm just adhering that to my medallion. Then I'm adding hot glue to the um, straw and then I'm putting the little crepe paper um, embellishment that I just made on top of that. And I'm just, I added... The first um, little straw medallion, wand, whatever you want to call it, I did. I added that skull and I did not like it. You're going to see right now that I change it. Um, I really love those conversation hearts. and I want, wanted to do that and I just didn't like what I did to the first one. I don't, not that I don't like the skull, but I feel like the heart, you know, is, you know, cuter on the wand. So you're going to see me peel off what I had put on there and then stick on the little heart. And I love how that looks a lot better. So I love pink and aqua together and the lavender. And it's just so pretty in the black. I just love the color combos. And uh, it's just awesome. So here I am again doing the same thing. I know this is kind of repetitive, you guys. But I, I'm pretty sure you guys like my process videos because I get a lot of views on them. So I thought you guys might enjoy this. Um... But yeah, the banner and the wands are pretty repetitious and pretty much me doing the same thing. You guys just get to see how I decorate them and how I put them together. So I just thought you guys might like it. Um, but yeah, as you can see, oh my gosh, I had such trouble with these crepe paper, um, the crepe paper embellishments this time. I don't know what was wrong. I'm... I'm not feeling too well. If you can already tell, my voice is like, you know, horrible. Um, maybe I couldn't function. I don't know because I'm just so out of it. I'm just loving sequin trim lately, you guys. And I found a bunch of it at Hobby Lobby and I stocked up, you know, when they go 50% um, off on the spools, the um, spool trims. So I have this cute iridescent sequin trim. And I just thought that would be cute to add for like a little tail to the medallion. And I added some baker's twine and a little bat bell. Someone asked me where I got these little bells and I got them on Etsy. I search for everything on Etsy. Um, sometimes you can get really good deals and you can find stuff that, you know, that you can't, you know, find anywhere else like in stores. So... Um, that's what I did there. I have the ghost, as you can see, the little ghost bells on the right, but they didn't really fit that well. So I only end up, ended up using the bats. Um, and this is pretty much it, basically. And then I'm going to go ahead and add on some cute little rhinestones, just for some accents to the um, bits of ephemera, I guess you want to call it, because that's basically what I did. I just blew all these images up and um, printed them out on white cardstock and basically made them the um what are they called ephemera so I just love how these turned out you guys they're so cute and I love this handy tool oh my gosh sometimes I, I see people with like I think Serena does this where she gets like a blade and she uses um them to uses the blade to adhere the little rhinestones and stuff to our projects, and I always wondered, like, does that really help? Yes, I use the little pickup tool from We Are Memory Keepers, and it helps so much. Um, otherwise, I'd be sitting there trying to, like, peel off little tiny rhinestones, and then the sticky part stays on the actual sheet. It's so annoying. But, yeah, you guys, look. This is how they came out. I love them so much, and you guys are going to see them on my October daily cart, and they're just going to be so adorable. I love them so much. So I hope you guys do too. Thank you guys so much for watching. And 
check out my next video tomorrow. Talk to you guys later. Bye.